na bumbia wa dragaira wakanda wa ubumba ho here 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 Singwana Libuan Mata. I stay at the Tula Mela Municipality, Bembe District, Liboko Province, South Africa. So the name of this institution is Nyabundia Watagaira Cultural Village. It started in 2007 but get registered in 24 July 20, 2008. I decided to start this group seeing the teenage pregnant, the rate of the teenage pregnancies, the rate of the school, the, the youth, the school dropouts of the youth, the rate of the alcohol abuse, and then the physical abuse of the girls. Some are being raped, some are using drugs. So I told myself this thing must stop. To take away from the street to take them away from the streets, I must do something. That's where I started this school. Yes, our group is of is formed about the, the girls, only girls. We, we cater girls only, seeing that problems or the consequences uh, is being felt by the girls mostly. Because if a girl is pregnant, the one who is going to suffer is a girl. A boy will, co will be continuing with the schooling. So I, I wanted to say to the girls, they've made a right choice. They have chosen well. We got uh, up. We have we got four traditional dances. Different four traditional dances. The first one is like Lukaga. It's like a frog style. The second one is Chifasi, where you can dance with another girl or a boy. And then the third one is Marende, where you can dance alone, singing the song. The, so, the meaning of the songs can be teaching somebody else or rebuking some other thing or somebody else, or showing your happiness or expressing yourself. It's either you are hurt or you are happy. And then fourthly, we have got Chikombela. Chikombela is being danced where there is, uh, for example, Madara. Madara is like harvest time, where they have harvested what they have plowed. For example, Millicom, Pumpkin, Beans, you can name it. So during those times, they will be celebrating what we have harvested. So we have harvested much we can share to each other. So they will be dancing those dances. And then lastly, it's Domba dance. Domba dance is being danced at the initiation, the last initiation of a woman, where we dance like, it's, it's, we can say it's a snake dance where girls who have gone under the initiation school, they can now go to Bomba dance. And then they dance holding each other on hands. So walking at the same pattern, doing the same thing together. At the end of the day, the pattern there will be like a snake walking around. Nowadays, there is no there is no longer initiation school, um, but it was supposed to be so. It was supposed to be there, 
I think democracy when it comes through some of the things, some of the, for example, from the royal family, they no longer uh, start or do initiation schools. All of them, they've got meaning. They are important. They are sending a particular message to the youth in particular. Through uh, initiation schools, they will start from the, the, the age 10 up until age 12, where the, 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 the bigger girls or the youth who are from age 17 and above, they will teach them like they are in the position of a parent. After that, they go to initiation school where there will be elderly people like Bakoma, Tikazi, who will be teaching them morals, training them, and then rebuking them, you don't do this, you don't do this, you don't go there, you don't eat this thing. So after that, they will go to Domba dance, where they prepare them for the motherhood if they, they want to be get to, 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 to get married. So they will go there and then they somebody else will be training them from the royal family. It's not everybody. It's not everybody like myself who can go there and train them. But there is protocol that must be followed. There are different positions, different posts uh, that they are the ones that will run that initiation of Domba. If there is nobody who can teach them or train them, the problem is we expect more from them. And what that, that we are expecting from them, they don't know it. Nobody has, t uh, has taught them. They don't know it, so they just live. They just live. They, they are just there. They don't. They, they, they just exist. They don't live according to the morals and then the good, the good quality of morals that are expected from them as youth. But if there is somebody who can teach and train, and that somebody must have the heart. about my culture, traditional dances, and um, it teaches me how to live as a girl, and um, to know my place, to have confidence, self so to feel happy, I, that's where I can actually express my feelings, is, and then, and those girls will be able to express themselves to the younger girls saying look at us this thing you can make it it's possible it's doable it's not for the certain people even you can do it 